Oh, hey everyone. Just wrapping up my morning yoga. <laughs> do I look like I do yoga? <laughs> hey everyone, Tuna here from Tenkara Rodco. One of the most common questions we get asked is what lines to use and when. We have a lot of different lines, so I'm here to break it down for you today. Each of our lines comes standard with a tippet ring on one end to easily attach the tippet. And on the other end, you have a loop to easily attach the line to the end of the rod. First off, we have our furled line. Our furled line is a great all-around Tenkara line that comes standard in each one of our rod packages. It's lightweight and casts very easily, so it's a great line to learn the basics of Tenkara casting with. Hey wind, come on! Furled lines are great for fishing Tenkara flies, nymphs, streamers, or even dry flies with a little bit of pay up paste on there. Ready? Sure. Okay. Next up we have our level line. Our level lines are made of fluorocarbon. We have a few different sizes and a few different lengths of level line. The level line is perfect for fishing nymphs or Tenkara style flies because the line actually sinks in the water much better than any of our other lines that we make. It has a different feel to it when casting, especially compared to the standard furled line or our crossbreed line. We have the crossbreed line. Finally, we have our crossbreed line, which is one of my personal favorites. Ding! We call this the crossbreed line because we took a furled line and attached it to the end of a fly line. So let me explain. If you have a 10 foot crossbreed line, you'll have about eight feet of floating line, and then on the tip, you have about two feet of furled line. Crossbreed's a great all around line. I like to use it when fishing dry flies, and I apply a little bit of payette paste on the furled part of the line for dries. And when I fish tenkara flies or a wet fly, I just leave it as is. Hey honkers, we're trying to film a hit movie here. The crossbreed line casts very easily and the fly line helps to cut through wind with the furled part helping with presentation. The crossbreed line has a little bit of memory. To get rid of that, all you've got to do is just pull and stretch it a little bit and that just disappears. The two things to consider is the length of the rod. What else was the other thing? So there's a couple things to consider when you're buying a line. First, you wanna think about getting a line that's similar to the length of the rod that you're fishing. This just makes it much easier to land fish and to fight those fish and manipulate your line while you're fishing. The second thing is you want to consider how long of a tippet you need on the end of your line. That just kinda of depends on the type of fishing you're doing. If you're fishing to really spooky fish in slow moving still water like a spring creek you might want to go a little bit longer like four or five feet and if you're fishing a wet fly in really shallow type of small stream then you could go a little bit shorter like two feet so anywhere from about two to five feet of tippet is normally standard and i'm yes i'm all dressed up If you guys have any questions about which line to pick and when, uh, just leave a comment below or just shoot us an email, hello at tencarrodco.com. Thanks, hope this helps. Now, Lars has made me film this thing while sitting by the river and I wasn't allowed to fish, so now we're gonna go and try and catch some fish. All right, I've got the Teton Zoom Rod, a crossbreed line, and let's see, about three and a half, four feet of tippet, and just a little Kabari fly. I'm gonna try it out, see how it works. I feel like these Kabaris work really well when fish are like eating on top. We got a nice uh, typical East Idaho spring rainstorm, so kind of getting rained out right now. We don't have our rain equipment with us, rain jackets, so might have to call it. 
But uh, until we meet again, friends.